Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing, a 45-foot Prevost. It took me exactly 5 hours and 45 minutes to be able to wash the roof, wash all the sides, the rear, the front, dial in all the glass. I also put wax, uh, a spray wax on all the glass, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. I cleaned the wheels and detailed the tires but about five hours and 40, just under six hours to be able to do a 45 footer. And I'll tell you some of the products I used. I used blue coral wash and wax soap to be able to wash this whole thing down. I used Meguiar's hyper dressing on the tires. My customer is not a very big fan of tire shine. He wants something very soft, very matte looking. So I use hyper dressing and I knock it down. Then I went ahead and polished the aluminum wheels for him. All the glass has been cleaned. There's been a spray wax put on the glass. The reason for that, if you notice the awnings up above the glass there, they made out of, they got a stainless steel kind of cover on them. Over a period of time when it rains or when they're traveling on the road, they get all sorts of debris caught in there. That stuff will start to drip out of the stainless steel tube at the top of the awning. When it runs down the side of the RV and gets all over this glass, they'll get some really bad water spots. I take care of this uh, 45 foot Prevost on a regular basis. My customer owns two of them, plus some aircraft. I'm gonna bring you guys in for some aircraft detailing here pretty soon. But I take care of this one. This one's getting ready to go on a road trip. There's another one that's being returned. As soon as the other one gets returned, I detail it. This building actually stores two RVs. One of them's out right now. When that one comes back, I take care of it. I get an email alert telling me this one needs to be done before it goes on its trip. So this is what we're kind of doing. But there you go, Meguiar's hyper dressing on the wheels or on the tires. I polish the aluminum with Flitz metal polish, blue coral, wash and wax, cleaned all the glass and then put some wax on it and stuff and then we're ready to go. Now I also wax the outside of this thing and this is what I want to talk about. You've got a couple of options when you're waxing an RV. You can do it by hand, right? Holy crap, that takes forever. Trust me, I have done it many times in my career. It is not fun. Then, of course, we've got the dual action polisher. You can put your pad on it, distribute, distribute your wax or sealant, whatever you want. That's cool. You got to wait for it to haze and then you got to buff it off. It still takes a long time. Folks, if you notice on the ground, there are two poles, right? These are two telescoping poles with microfiber bonnets on the end of it. This happens to be my favorite wax, Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish. This is a true paint sealant, the longest lasting wax or sealant that Meguiar's has to date. This stuff is like OptiSeal, it's amazing, although you can't apply it when it's wet. That doesn't work that way and you can't apply it on glass. But what's so awesome about this is that I can apply Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish on one of the bonnets, just get it slightly wet, right? And then I can use that pole and kind of like almost like I'm painting the side of the RV and then I use the other microfiber pole with the bonnet on it to knock down the product so I don't have any high spots. Typically I can wax the bottom of this vehicle very fast by hand right with this Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish but when we start looking at those areas there you go holy crap I gotta set up a ladder I gotta set up a scaffolding well I've got two microfiber bonnets on these telescoping poles they're about eight foot long I spray Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish on one, which is my applicating bonnet, and then I use the other one to simply knock it down. This is one of the fastest ways I can wax this RV in less than an hour. That is not going to happen if you're doing this by hand with a traditional paste or wax, a uh, paste sealant or, or a, or a uh, liquid wax or sealant. It's just not going to happen. You're going to be here for hours. Folks, this is the fastest way that I can apply even though it's a retail level product, this is a true paint sealant. It lasts for about a year, 100 washes, so McGuire says. This is a finished paint sealant. Incredibly durable, incredibly safe on gel coats and stuff like that on RVs. Apply it to one mitt or one pole and have the other pole to knock down the product. It is one of the fastest ways to wax an RV. I just wanted to tell you about that. But there you go, 45 foot Prevost, sorry for the wind was done in just under six hours. I'll walk you around this thing. There's the, that's its home, that's where it goes inside this bay. I actually have to back this thing in there. Kinda cool, right? I get to drive these things, I love it. 
All the glass has been dialed in. It has a wax and it has a Manzerna power lock on the front of the on the front of the glass. No issues there with the coating or anything that may break down. It'll be great. This is the other side of it. Looks nice and glossy, nice and shiny. All the glass has been dialed in. There's the wheels. The aluminum wheels were polished with Flitz metal polish. You got Meguiar's hyper dressing. Been knocked down quite a bit because my customer doesn't like shiny, glossy tires. But there's the side of that RV, really nice and glossy, right? This Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish does amazing on the side of these RVs. There's the other little barn, right? When this, this RV's out right now for a couple of weeks, when it comes in, they pull it in here, they let me know it's returned, they take this one on their trip, and then I gotta come back and take care of that one. Plus, I do some aircraft for this gentleman as well. Very, very busy, amazing client, love him to death, and he uses me all the time, and I'm grateful, and I'm always trying to find ways to over-deliver for him. But there you go, just wanted to share it with you. Let me get on the other side where it's not so windy. Sorry, folks, just under six hours. This baby's ready to go, ready to go on their trip, and I'll take care of the other one when it gets here. Just wanted to share those couple of little, little tips with you. Love you so much, talk to you soon.